Finally, Lineage OS based on Android 13 is available of 2023 January build. I have installed this Lineage OS on Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and in this video, I am showing the new features, customizations, Antutu benchmark score, CPU throttling and many more of this Lineage OS. And I found one major bug in this room that I will discuss later in this video. So without further ado, let's start. As you can see, this is Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and I have installed Lineage OS in it. This is the unofficial build but official build will be rolled out very soon. This has December 2022 Android security update. Also vendor security patch level is of June 5, 2022 and DFC kernel is used in this room. Also you can see the build date which is of January 2, 2023. And this Lineage OS is running on latest Android version which is Android 13. This room has minimal apps pre-installed in it and no any bloatware and unnecessary apps are pre-installed. This room has its aperture camera installed which also have scan feature and camera is working properly. We can also install Gcam in it for better results. This Lineage OS has Trebuchet launcher installed inside its home screen setting. There is hidden and protected apps option from where you can hide and protect any app with security. And inside wallpaper and style, there is wallpaper colors and basic colors present with other features like dark theme, themed <coughs> items and app grid. This room is smooth to use and you won't feel any lags while scrolling or using this room in normal usage. The app opening and closing speed is also improved and is smooth as well. And this is how quick setting panel looks like which has power menu icon and setting icon located at the bottom of the screen. Now we can directly open apps from app info section by just tapping on that open icon. Now I'll show some of its new features and customization included in this room. This Lineage OS does not come up with many customizations. Inside network and internet there is private TNS feature. Inside notifications, there are some notification settings like notification history, conversation bubbles and also we can control which apps and device can read notification from here which is a good privacy concern feature. And inside battery, there is battery usage, battery saver and battery manager for detecting when apps drain battery. And talking about the battery backup, it has decent battery backup in this room. And inside sound and vibration, there is clear speaker option along with Dirac sound enhancer and from here we can optimize and improve the audio quality of your existing headphone. Also this has hi-fi feature which will increase audio quality by decreasing distortion and noise. Inside display, there are some features like adaptive brightness, dark theme, font, icon shape, etc. There is fingerprint for security present but face unlock is absent. And inside encryption device is encrypted. In button setting, there is as long swipe action and long press for torch option are present with other features. And we can update this ROM directly from here if any new OTA update is available. This ROM gives you unlimited photos and videos backup feature on Google Photos app. I checked safety net test in this ROM but it has failed the test and device is not certified as well. Also I faced one major bug in this ROM whenever I played any videos from any application then the sound of that video is lagging and audio is not properly playing. I guess this is happening because it is the unofficial build and in its stable build, the developer will fix all the bugs and release the official stable update. Now I'll show you the Antutu benchmark score which is 352583 which is a good score and you can see the CPU throttling test and no CPU thermal throttling is detected. Although this room is a good room but I cannot suggest you to use this unofficial build for now because of its bug. If you want to use this room wait for some time and if the bug is fixed then you can try this room on your phone. So that's it for this video. If you like this video then don't forget to hit the like button. Comment down below if you have any suggestions, share this video and subscribe to our Cracksoid YouTube channel. Also don't forget to hit the notification bell.